Good morning. Um, it is 10.30 a.m. and I have an appointment at 11. Um, I'm going in today for what I think is going to be my second microneedling um, experience. <laughs> but um, I'm not sure. I never know what Mary's going to do until I get there. So we'll see what she hooks me up with. But I wanted to show some progress with my skin. Um, so this is what I look like without makeup. Um, I'm only wearing my Neutrogena oil-free moisturizer. Um, I have not been doing what Mary told me to do, which is get Witch Hazel as my toner. I've just been lazy about trying to find it. Um, so I hope I didn't set the progress back too much. But I mean, I have been using the moisturizer like I was told to do. And I mean, I think there's been progress. I've gotten compliments on my skin. People keep going like, what are you doing different? And I'm just like, not. they don't know it's my face. They just kind of compliment me in general and say I look different. I know it's my face, but I think they don't know what it is. They're just like, something's different, um, <laughs> which is good, which is good. I'm excited. So I have, they said it takes about three microneedling sessions for it to really like, for you to see real good effects. Um, I've only had one so far, so I'm really excited to see what else could happen. And I have zits because um, I ate some nuts and if I eat nuts, I usually get zits and I'm kind of fine with that because I... I mean, I try to take care of them so I don't get black spots again, so we'll see. But I'm going to head out because knowing me, I'm going to get there late now. Um, and we'll see what Mary does today. <laughs> okay. I look really rough. I look like I got in a fight and lost, like, like, like badly. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys anyway, because why the heck not? I've put myself out here a lot already. Um, so we did my neck um, and my forehead. I don't know if it's focused. Um, see my forehead. And she focused a lot on my cheeks. So this is... <clears throat> what microneedling the second time looks like um we the microneedling was fine but she said i bled a little bit more which is fine um but because i closed my eyes so i have no idea i just kind of enjoyed the process um and decided not to film it because you've seen it already before um however she put um the chemical peel again um it was mild but i think we because we went over it several times she focused more on my cheeks because i told her i have these fake highlights looking dark spot lines they come down kind of like your highlight would um and i was like yeah i've just had those scars for years um and she asked about this scar i got it from a car accident which i will tell you about someday um but yeah so i look really rough which means i cannot go to my event that i have this saturday which is sad because i was really looking forward to going but i cannot scare people <laughs> and with this i just kind of want to stay home and heal so this is what I look like. Um, I think for this one, I will actually come in every day and show you my progress. And my lips are numb, so it's very hard to talk right now. The bottom part of my lips got some numbing cream on them when we microneedled. So thus. <laughs> but I look scary. But seeing as I saw the results from the first microneedling session, I think it's worth it. So I'm actually looking forward to peeling and looking crazy for the next five days because I know in two weeks I will be looking just right. <laughs> so um, I'm really excited and I can't wait to show you the progress daily this time around. All right, take care. So this is me the next day, so day two. Um, this is what I look like. And I just stepped out of the shower. So I'm gonna put aquifer on my brows because they're still healing yeah, I don't even use um, <clears throat> the cutting buds anymore I just use my fingers ignore my jacked up nails <laughs> I was experimenting and then for my face because it's gonna start peeling any day now I think day three is really when it's gonna peel um, as you can see it's kind of dry like yesterday when I laughed it hurt <laughs> um, so but it's not as inflamed or as red as it was yesterday so I just put a big old streak because I'm gonna like spread it into my skin. 
and she got my neck good yesterday like my whole neck was on fire with the chemical peel so I'm gonna try to get my neck so it doesn't get stiff as well and then we'll go upwards I'm not a professional so I'm probably not doing this right but I was instructed to put aquifer on and that's what I'm doing and this is the best way I know how. So she focused on these spots right here on both cheeks because that's where my dark spots are the heaviest. And then she focused on my forehead a little. Cause last time we didn't do too much to my forehead. We didn't want it to affect my brows but I also don't want to look like two different skin tones, so it's better to get it all. And that's it. And this is just my aquifer I'm running low because I've been using it for quite a bit. Um, but that's it, so this is day two face. <laughs> that's it, all right. Catch you on day three. Today's day three. It's now Saturday. Um, I got my chemical peel done on Thursday. Um, she told me I could wear makeup today, so I'm going to attempt to go out with makeup on today, but I'm very scared that all of this is gonna show through the makeup and I'm going to look crusty and weird. I feel like the texture might come through and show through um, the makeup, and I'm scared to put a primer just because I know my skin's kind of an open wound still, kind of, so I don't want to just be so put in products into my actual body. So we'll see what I look like when I put on makeup. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm back here today with this and it's the same procedure as yesterday so I don't really have to show you. Uh, but I did wanna come show you what my skin looks like. This chunk peeled off um, when I was washing my face this morning. Just used my hands and um, Clarisil, I believe it's called. Um, so I just got out of the shower, I did the same thing again and it feels very, very dry. Um, but yeah, so let me put some of the aquifer on and I'm going to attempt to put makeup on and that's it. It is day four, it's Sunday, and like I said, I got this done on Thursday. This is what my face looks like now. As you can see, it's really dry and really flaky, um, but this is what it looks like. All right, so this is made with aquifer on. I don't know if you can see the patch of skin that's like uh, all flaked up here. Um, but it doesn't come out as full on flakes. It just comes out as little black patches on your hand, like little dots, but it, it flakes off gradually. You can see a few. Yep, day four. It is Monday morning, which I think is day five. I don't know, I think I messed up my count. <laughs> but anyway. So it's Monday morning and um, this is what I look like. I just got out the shower and you can see the patches. It's like peeling real good. I'm hoping it'll all be done peeling the next like five days, but it all gets really dark, like I said, and then it flakes off. So this is what I look like. I'm about to put some aquifer on. And yeah, as you can see, everything's really dark. It's really dry. You can hear how dry. So yeah. This is what I look like. Enjoy. <laughs> it is Tuesday morning, afternoon, <laughs> and clearly I just washed my hair. That's this. Anyway, ignore my crappy edges, focus on my face. Um, so it's still really dry, but it's flaking off more. Um, and I just wanted to come through and show that. It is now a Thursday. I was not able to record yesterday because I was braiding my hair and it took me two days and I looked a hot mess. I mean, I, I think I got like four hours of sleep or five hours in between, but that's the bags. But I just washed my face and I wanted to come in and show it. So it's been officially one week since I got the microneedling done. And this is what I look like. So I think at this point I can now start just using my regular lotion. I don't have to use aquifer since it's not really an open wound anymore. So I don't have to go around looking shiny. <laughs> um, so that's it. This is what I look like.